Hi guys, I'm Marsha. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to um, pot up some Marble Queen propagations that I have had growing at my salon. I'm going to take some cuttings off of the Marble Queen pothos that I keep at my salon and so I can um, have some more propagations. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. Do you have a Marble Queen pothos? I'll show you. I save all of my cut off water bottles. Okay guys, I'm ready to start taking cuttings off of my Marble Queen and I wanted to um, tell you how I, how I do it or try to do it. Uh, what I do usually is I'll look at the vine that I'm going to cut and I make sure that um, the aerial roots have not grown down into the soil. I'd, I don't want to make a cut if the aerial roots have, have grown into the soil. So this one hasn't, and I decide where I'm going to make my cutting, which I am going to make my cutting. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Um, right back here, which will leave one healthy leaf on this vine. And it won't take any time at all. Can you see? Let me pull these out of the way. Or try to pull these out of the way. Okay, here you go. See, this leaf right here will be the only leaf left on this vine, but it will um, grow back rather quickly. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and make my cutting. There we go. Simple as that. That is a really good cutting. And look, whoop, slow down. Look at that leaf. Isn't that leaf pretty? See that? How that um, aerial root has started to turn white? It was down in the moist soil and it was actually starting to grow down into the soil. I'm gonna go ahead and do my cuttings and hopefully this thing will stay focused. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down into single leaves for the most part until I get to this tip and that's got two leaves on it hopefully you can see and so that will be a vine it'll start to vine right away after it takes root so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this here and then I'm going to cut here. Now I didn't leave much on this because I wanted this one that was um, really starting to grow to be uh, a vine of its own. And then this has, you can see the little tiny bit of aerial root coming out. That should definitely take root. Ten. I have 10 left. I'm going to put all 10 of these in one container. Just like that. Well, you know, you guys probably couldn't see really what I was doing because I didn't have my camera angle right. Okay, guys, there it is. That is going to be a beautiful, a beautiful Marble Queen Pothos. Okay guys, I am working on uh, potting up some Marble Queen Pothos. You can see the roots. They're not 
um, as there's not as many, if I could talk, good grief, <laughs> there's, there are not as many roots in this as um, some of my other ones like the golden pothos. Sometimes I let them go for so long that they have a huge root system. Look, that leaf here. Oh, look at that. It is solid green, not a stitch of variegation on that leaf. That makes me sad. This has some really cute baby leaves. Look at those baby leaves. Try and give you guys a, a good view of those baby leaves. They're so pretty. Oh. Boy, oh boy. There we go. This one's going to be a pretty plant. Look at the different... The variegation on these leaves. It's so pretty. I, that leaf there is really pretty. I really like that leaf. So, I got a little kind of funny story for you, for you guys. Um, Hugh and I, my husband Hugh and I, we have a, a little three-acre farm at where we raise ducks and chickens and um, cattle. Well, we're going to be raising cattle soon. We just uh, got a, a new bull, and he, he'll turn a year old in October, so... I was out at the barn doing my feeding this morning and I had taken um, some new young roosters out to the barn so that they could get used to living in the barn, um, which is where I've been keeping pretty much all of my roosters. And uh, this one young rooster was being chased by another rooster, by one that's, that was older than him, and I, I had my back to them and they had been chasing um, the whole time I was out there. And this young rooster, to, trying to get away from the older rooster, ran up my back and onto my head. Oh my God, you cannot, there, I cannot describe how it felt to have a chicken go up my back and <laughs> sit on top of my head. It was, it was funny, like, it was kind of frustrating. Um, because I was trying to get everybody fed, but it's kind of funny at the same time. Like he viewed me as the safe zone <laughs> and he was trying to get rid of or get away from the older rooster that was chasing him. So right up my back and on top of my head. Oh my goodness. So that was my, my funny moment of the, the day having a rooster climb my back. Look at those. Aren't those so pretty? Eight new Marble Queen. All potted up. Oops. My goodness, I'm, I am going to dump one of these containers of water if I'm not careful. Look at that, guys. That is so pretty. So pretty. I don't know where I'm going to put them. I haven't decided yet, but yeah. Pretty little Marble Queen Pothos. I'll probably take these and put them in my tub so that I can um, go ahead and give them a good watering.